So, one day I saw her, she showed up with uh, the heart-shaped glasses that are on the, the poster for Stanley Kubrick's Lolita, mm -hmm. which strangely never appear in either version of Lolita. No. Um, they're just on the poster. But they're so iconic, and um, it was meeting someone who had the sense of humor to know that, okay, uh, people are going to make fun of the fact that, you know, it's a Lolita-esque friendship, relationship, whatever the case might be. <laughs> I mean, you know, so, but it's, it's great to know someone that has that, yeah. that intelligence, that sense of humor, that irony. And really, the only reason that we became friends in the first place was because we met at a party and she happened to mention her love for the director's commentary version of Showgirls. <laughs> and that takes a very specific sense of humor, yeah. which I think is beyond any of her peers, if we were to speak about, you know, Lindsay Lohan or whatever. I don't know, that might be insulting Evan to say that's her peers. Hillary Duff, whatever, those I people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I got accused of fornicating with these people, and I, I want to set the record straight. I did not hang out with Lindsay Lohan. I don't booze. I drink absinthe. It's very, booze is like prohibition era. Mm -hmm. It's like, who, where did they come up that term? It's like, Manson was boozing, and he was scallywagging with a bunch of, what, you know, whatever. Just to get specific. Do you drink I, anything brown, or is it always green? clear. That sounds very clinical. I don't know. Absinthe's green, but this is red. I, may, I have my own absinthe label coming okay. up, which is kind of a very self-indulgent thing. That way I don't have to pay for it. Yeah. But uh, they're not allowed to call it absinthe in America, so it's called mansinth. Okay. Very clever, right? It's like the George Foreman grill? It, it's the George Foreman grill of ear cutting off drug addicted weirdos that can afford to buy some alcohol that fucks them up in a different way than normal alcohol. Okay. Unquote. I want to move on to something else now. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to finish the story because oh. I'm so tangential. She wore the glasses. Yes. I said, I'm going to write a song about it. And I did. That's my single. Okay. So that's the way that this record started. I was talking about holidays. First song, Christmas morning. Putting Holes in Happiness, which, you know, because the record company, when they stopped, I mean, I'm not going to say that they were trying to perform oral sex on me, but when they stopped trying to blow me because they felt like, oh, it's raining money and Manson's God and all that stuff, which normally isn't this case because they normally think Manson's a cocksucking asshole. But this time they're like, I basically had to pass out those red lobster bibs so they wouldn't get my semen on their shirts. Who's, this, who's they now? Uh, don't put words in my mouth. Oh, okay. The record company. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 